good morning friends let's continue our study about the analysis okay this is another example here we have the two for loops are there first for loop executing n time another for loop is executing n time so total time will be 2n but we will not take 2n we will take it as n so we are taking the power for exponent value okay and okay this is another loop we have p equal to 0 i equal to 0 i is less than n i into 2 we already know that i into 2 then it will be log it uh, it will be in the log power okay log n so this will take log n and here p can be up to n by 2 can it will be always less than n so i'm assuming it as uh, p then here it will be log p so two uh, complex this will be log n and this will be log p log p can be log n by 2 maximum okay so the value will be log of n log of log of n log n log n log of log of log n okay. this is another loop here it is executing n times this i j, uh, j equal to j into 2 it will also execute to log log n value so the value will be n log n so from all this study what we can conclude is that we have only one for loop then uh, up, if it is going up to n, uh, then it, its complexity will be order of n. If it is incrementing by pl uh, plus 2, then also it will be order of n. If it is decrementing also, it will be all, it is order of n. If it is uh, multiplying by 2, then the value will be log of 2. If it is multiplying by 3, it will be log ba base 3 of n. If it is dividing, then it will be also log. We will see some more examples. Here we have a loop i equal to 1, k equal to 1, k is less than n. Statement is there, k equal to k plus i, i plus plus. We will evaluate i and k. Here when i equal to 1, k equal to 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. It's 2, it's 1 plus 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Like that is going. So, as we have an k here and taking us up to m, then it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to m. That we already know m into m plus 1 by 2. That is root m. So, the complexity will be root m. Another example if m is not equal to n, while m is not equal to n, if m, m greater than n, m equal to m minus n, otherwise n again equal to n minus n. Suppose we will take two examples, when m equal to 6, n equal to 3, uh, 6 is greater than 3, 6 will be decremented, so it will be 3, 3, m and n become equal, look, it will stop. So the complexity will be order of 1. If we increase the value, according to the uh, size of the size uh, difference between uh, m and n, it will execute more than 1 times. So maximum it can go up to n. So the maximum case will be order of n and the minimum case will be order of 1. Okay, next we will analyze three cases in this algorithm analysis. Best case, worst case and average case. Okay, so using the RAM model of computation, we can count how many steps our algorithm will take on a given input instance by simply executing it on the P1 input. We will simply, for a particular input, we will check that. However, to really understand how good or bad an algorithm is, we must know how it works over all instances. That's the main important thing. Okay, I am analyzing two algorithms for a particular problem. Uh, I have analyzed, okay, count of this one is less than count of this. Okay, one is taking order of n time, another is uh, taking order of n square time. Or, uh, okay, n square time. By simply considering this, I cannot make a decision. I want to consider the different instance also. Okay. For particular value, for less for less values, how it is performing. For more values, how it is performing. That is also a factor. Okay. Let's say, assume in the case of a searching. I want to search an element. If the element is in the first, first position, how much time the algorithm will take? If the element is in the last position 
or error if element is not there how much time it will take that's the worst case and if element is in between then how much time it will take another example sorting if the element if the list is already sorted how much time the algorithm will take if there as the list is not sorted completely disordered how much time it will take if the element is as the list is somewhat sorted how much time it will take that is the three cases best case worst case and average case okay to understand the notation of best worst and average case complexity one must think about running an algorithm in all possible instances of data that can be fed to it that's important okay let's say take each case best case best case is that the input to, uh, to the algorithm which take minimum time for execution this is the minimum time okay take the case of linear search element is in the first position so it will take only one time best case for to search and first position is all to be one okay average case our for average case analysis all possible sequence of size and are input to the algorithm and average asymptotic time the algorithm is computed linear search middle position it will take almost up to n by 2 n by 2 time it will take so that is almost n by 2 is we convert that it again become quarter of n so it is taking almost up to quarter of n time that's the average case worst case is that the input of the algorithm which takes maximum time for its execution okay, linear search element is in the last position it is also same order of n itself so this is this is also an important factor while analyzing the algorithm by considering this also con by considering this too we have to make a decision of uh, whether, whether to take that particular algorithm or not okay so remaining section what we are going to do is we are going to study about asymptotic notations that we will discuss in the next class.